Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a Resvani tank tactical urban vehicle, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The Resvani tank aims to be the most capable vehicle on and off-road. It is built to handle the toughest of terrains and look like the toughest machine on the road. The core tank features a 3.6 liter V6 engine that makes 285 horsepower, which is more than enough to plow through all sorts of terrain. If that's not enough power, Resvani has you covered. You can option the Resvani tank with either a 500 horsepower 6.4 liter SRT V8 or a 1,000 horsepower uh, 6.2 liter Dodge Demon V8, or a 3 liter diesel that's good for 285 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque. And it appears as though you can get any engine with either a 6-speed manual or 8-speed automatic transmission. The 2020 Resvani tank marks the second generation of the totally over-the-top SUV. While it's only been around since November 2017, the original version was based on the old JK Jeep Wrangler platform. The 2020 Resvani tank is based on the latest and current Wrangler JL generation that was introduced in 2018. The Resvani tank is unlike anything on the road, unmatched to any sort of SUV. It features a unique mixture of ruggedness, futurism, and luxury. This unorthodox combination results in a very unique look. The headlights are tucked inside an aggressively designed grille, and the Resvani logo can be found printed on the quad front grille. Along the sides, a sculpted bodywork carefully carves into the wheel arches, creating an aggressive side profile. The black wheels paired with the treaded tires make for an extreme off-roading look, all while looking like a luxurious SUV and, well, honestly, an urban assault vehicle. The interior, however, is still just a dressed-up version of the standard cheap interior, but it's better than the last one because the JL interior is such a leap forward over the JKs. Off-road modifications have also been made to the tank. The base model comes with 37-inch tires and a 4-inch suspension lift using Fox shocks. Remote reservoir shocks and a 6-inch lift are options. All tanks get heavier axles, locking differentials, and bigger brakes with 8-piston calipers. The 2020 Resvani tank has an absurd features list and a price tag to match. The Resvani tank tactical urban vehicle has a starting price of $155,000. Going for the tank military edition, which has a starting price of $259,000, gets you bulletproof glass and doors, explosive protection, a self-sealing gas tank, run-flat tires, night vision and thermal cameras, strobe lights and sirens, and then there are some James Bond-esque features such as a smoke screen, electrified door handles, gas masks, and seriously, protection from EMPs, that's electromagnetic pulses. If you want a 2020 Resvani tank, and I think I do, you'll need $35,000 for the deposit so the company can start building it for you. The company estimates a build time of about 12 weeks depending on options. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2020 Resvani Tank Tactical Urban Vehicle. You know, real quick, I just want to say thank you to someone who left a comment on one of my videos uh, saying, hey, do a build and price of this because I hadn't even heard of the Resvani Tank. This thing is pretty awesome. And yeah, as I did some research, it turns out that it's based off of a Jeep Wrangler. And speaking of the Jeep Wrangler, you know, down in the description below, I've put some links to some related build and price reviews I've done that I think will be uh, complimentary to this vehicle. If you like this vehicle, you'll like some of these other related build and price reviews like the Jeep Wrangler uh, Moab edition I did, uh, the Dodge Charger SRT 392, the Dodge Demon, uh, the Gladiator, some other high performance, very expensive SUVs that while nothing looks like this might on some levels compete with the Resvani as far as uniqueness and stuff like that. So make sure that after you watch this video, you check out some of my related videos in the description below. All right, let's move on. 
So the Resvani tank is pretty incredible. Here they're showing, yeah, I guess you're going to, here they show this guy with his fancy shoes on and all that. And I guess you're going to probably have, maybe, they're thinking you're going to have this kind of lifestyle. Because why? Because the MSRP on this thing is really expensive. It's $155,000. And it's a very extreme Jeep Wrangler. And there's nothing very Jeep Wrangler about it except the platform. So... Yeah, they don't have a whole bunch of stuff they're going to tell us on this on this page, but we're going to dig through all the information, and they do have a car configurator, so we can actually do a build and price, do all the colors, build the tank that we want. So let's go through the little handful of features that, they, that they're going to tell us about, and then we'll just jump right into the build. Okay, so key features, and we already talked about this, a lot of it has to do with that engine. Right, the base engine is a three and a half liter, probably the Pentastar V6, right? Because they're using a Jeep. Jeep is Dodge Chrysler. And so, yeah, they're using all those engines. I'm sure that 3.6 liter V6 is the Pentastar V6 that goes in like the Dodge Charger and all that kind of stuff. And then, of course, you can get the 500 horsepower 6.4 liter V8 or that goes in the SRTs. Or you can get the 6.2 liter uh, Dodge Demon motor that makes 1,000 horsepower. Uh, maybe 1,000 horsepower might be too much for this vehicle. Maybe 500 sounds good. Or maybe even the diesel engine actually sounds pretty good. If you're really going some extreme off-roading, diesel would be nice. Lots of low-end torque and all that. So you got a lot of great engine options. Which engine will we pick? I don't know. I really don't. We'll, I'll think about it as we work our way towards the configurator. In addition to the engine stuff, uh, obviously a big deal with this vehicle is going to be the off-road suspension. So they say they have two unique off-road packages that provide high ground clearance. Yeah, 4-inch lift and a 6-inch lift. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, and they feature Fox off-road suspension. Uh, they have equally capable tires. We don't know the name of the tires. Uh, they say standard are grid off-road wheel package with option for aircraft forged aluminum custom wheel designs. So yeah, you can take your you can you can do you can uh, you can keep ramping this up to a higher level if you want. Of course, you got to have high performance brakes. You can't have all that power and not be able to stop it. So 16 inch eight piston brake calipers uh, and all that there. You get auto retracting side steps for your hundred and fifty five thousand dollars. Here they're talking about the the seats and like I was saying, yeah, the the interior is nothing uh, super super fancy. Uh, it is a step up. They've they've they definitely uh, made the seats look a lot nicer. They're ergonomically designed. They say ten styles to choose from. We'll take a look at those when we get to the car configurator. So it's really nice that we can actually build and price a Resvani tank. That's actually nice. Choose all the colors. And I actually kind of looked over it the other yesterday, and there are actually a lot of different color combinations. So you'll be uh, excited to see that, and it's coming up here in a second. Let's see on demand four by four. Uh, yeah, a proven and capable four-wheel drive system. Yeah, Jeep's four-wheel drive system. There's high-intensity LED lighting. There's, uh, yeah, here they're talking about it. Electromagnetic protection. EMPs are radiated after a nuclear explosion and render electronic devices inoperable. EMP weapons are also used to disable electronic systems uh, prior to a border attack. So, yeah, this thing can fight against EMPs. That's kind of cool. And here's uh, that thermal night vision system. I'm assuming that, yeah, the Resvani uh, tank military edition, like I talked about, that starts at 259 has all this stuff standard. But I would think that the, even the Resvani tank base model, which we're going to do, I guess it's called the base model, for lack of a better term, uh, you can probably still option some of these things with it, like the thermal night vision, the EMP defense Stuff like that. We'll find out because we're about to do the configurator here. But you know what? We will also go through the gallery. I kind of looked through some of the gallery photos while we were doing the intro. But let's go through all of them again because, well, it's beautiful. The vehicle is beautiful. Oh, we can also check out the options list, which we will. And here are the dimensions. So the, res the 2020 Resvani tank is 79 inches high. It's 190 inches long. It's 84 inches wide. And it weighs 4,300 pounds. Okay, Resvani tank standard and optional equipment. So yeah, the engine options on the standard Resvani tank is the 2 liter turbo engine. That's on export only, so does that mean it's not available for the U.S.? Okay, yeah, I guess that's what that means. So the 3.6 liter V6 or the 6.4 liter V8 engine for 500 horsepower. So I guess we cannot get the 1,000 horsepower. Well, it doesn't seem like we can get the 1,000 horsepower engine on the base model uh, Resvani tank. 
Your standard suspension is the four-inch four inch lift with the Fox shocks. And then there's also an off-road package that gives you the four-inch lift with 2.5 Fox shocks with remote reservoir. And then there's an off-road extreme package. That's your six-inch lift, your uh, three, uh, your Fox shocks, your 3.0 Fox shocks, I guess if I'm saying that right, with, uh, with remote reservoir. I guess that's what that means, RAS. I'm not really sure. But that's plus $12,000. You got your... No matter what, though, it seems like there's one size of tires or your 37-inch tires. You can option thermal night vision. There's a full leather package that you can get for $5,500. That's leather seats, suede headliner, leather interior door panels, leather instrument panel, leather console. That's kind of cool. Auto-retracting side steps will set you back $2,500. That's, there's a sport exhaust system for uh, $1,750. And there's a tow package for $8,500. So... But they don't tell us how much the Resvani tank can tow. We don't know that. And I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see that. They do have a configure. We can jump to the configure in a second. But let's go uh, actually take a look at the gallery first. Okay, so here we are in the gallery. Uh, yeah, the Resvani tank is just gorgeous. I mean, from every angle, from the front, from the back, from the sides. The only view we haven't seen is a top view. Uh, and I assume it looks good from a top view as well. What a great vehicle. I mean, seriously, I never say this, but yeah, I wouldn't mind having one of these bad boys. I mean, I usually don't. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having one of these bad boys in my uh, in my bunker, in the bunker, right, for sure. I mean, this thing is gorgeous. So they didn't say anything about EMPs on that standard and optionals list thing. So maybe don't the EMP thing. Uh, I don't know if that's just built in. We didn't do the read more part of that. Uh, real fast, we should take a quick peek at that to just see about to be clear on the EMP stuff because uh, I'm just kind of curious real fast. You know, yeah, the interior is nothing fancy, but it's kind of cool. I think we're going to have to totally dress ours out, leather dash, everything. Uh, looks great on the road. How cool is this thing? I'd have to do mine with a 6-inch lift. I think I think either the 500 horsepower 6.4 liter V8 or the diesel would be my option, uh, but I probably want a little more speed. So, but yeah, but then, you know, yeah, maybe the diesel is the way to go. If everything goes to heck, man, maybe you could use vegetable oil to run your vehicle if you can't find any gasoline. Here's those custom wheels. They look very nice. There's those side steps. Uh, there's a nice shot of the leather wrapped steering wheel. Here it is out in the dark somewhere. Here it is at a super expensive house. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's very awesome. I, yeah. All right. You ready? We should go do the build. Let's go do the build. All right, so yeah, we can we're gonna do the build of the tank. So we're gonna go ahead and click the tank and see where that takes us. And that takes us to here, their car configurator, and it looks kind of fun. Look at this. Now we can see a top side view. That's what it looks like. It looks like a little toy in here. Look how fun that is to play with this. We can turn it in infinite ways to see what it looks like. So cool. Base price one hundred fifty-five thousand dollars. This exterior color is known as mirror red metallic gloss. Here they're just giving us the base stuff. So the transmission, 8-speed automatic, that's your standard. The standard engine is 285 horsepower, Pentastar V6. Well, we think it's a Pentastar. Standard exhaust, da 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 Okay, so that base price is $155,000. Let's go ahead and move, and now we can choose our paint colors. So there are gloss colors, there are satin colors, there are a lot of different exterior colors. So let's take a look at some of these. Uh, are they telling us? This is called Angel White Pearl Gloss. We've got Stealth Gray. We've got uh, Silver Metallic. Ocean Blue. Looks like a video game, doesn't it? Navy Blue. Star Yellow. Star Orange. Mirror Black. Mirror Red. Military Green. That's kind of cool, actually. Uh, camouflage gloss no I don't think so copper gloss and this is probably a custom color with the question mark so we won't worry about that satin colors they do those same colors in just satin with a satin finish they do those same colors with a satin finish you know what I actually think the military green looks pretty good but I think I'd want to do it in a gloss so let's do military green gloss it's a no cost color option so that's what we're going to do for that let's move on to the drivetrain do i want an automatic transmission or do i want a manual oh i guess you can get the you can get the thousand horsepower engine it, all the engines are there they're all there 
you know what? I think I want an eight-speed automatic transmission. I know. Maybe I want. Maybe I might think I might want the manual, but I could see myself getting the manual and then wishing I would have gotten the automatic. But I don't see it probably getting the automatic and wishing I got the the manual. So I think maybe the eight-speed automatic is the way to go. I want the 500 horsepower, uh, 6.4 liter SRT V8. And I want left-hand drive. That's the way it's set up for the states, the United States. Uh, we can do the uh, sport exhaust. That gives us a deep, sporty exhaust sound. That's plus 1750. So, yeah, we're, we're up here spending some money. Uh, do they show the total? Nope, the total's gone away somewhere. I don't even know where it is. Let's move on to packages. So what do we want? Do we want the Dana 60 rear differential with rear-mounted tow hitch? Yeah, probably. Probably want that. That's our tow package. The automatic uh, side steps for $3,500. Yep, we want that. There's the exterior lighting package, illuminated logo in the front grill. Yep, we want that. We, I guess we want everything. Here they have the thermal night vision. Yep, we're nickel and diamond at big time, aren't we? Here's the interior lighting package. Uh, that's cool for $2,500. I'm going to Funky Town, aren't I? Uh, steel bumper with winch. Yeah, you're going to need that bad boy. Let's do that. On uh, to chassis. Lots of things to do. So we got the standard lift. I said I wanted the 6-inch lift. I want the off-road extreme 6-inch lift. That's $12,500. I don't care. And neither did Jimmy. He cracked corn. He didn't care. Uh, big brake kit. I want the big brake kit for $5,600. Oh, you can change your caliper color. What color do we want? with our? So we got the green. So we don't want white. Do we want blue? Oh, they don't even show them in there. We can't even see the, the, the brakes. How about um, how about a copper color? How about a copper color would be nice. We're going to do our brake calipers in a copper color. Let's move on to interior. So now we've got, yep, I want the supple Italian Napa leather seats. Uh, but we can even upgrade from that and get the full leather. That's the seats, the headliner, armrest, everything. $7,500. Let's go all the way. At the end of this, we're going to be at $259,000 possibly. I don't know. We'll see where we come out on the other side. But uh, we're just having fun with this. But honestly, if I was going to do this, I'd do it like that. But yeah, here we are. Full leather interior. Oh, what color do we want the leather in? Um, can we get an interior shot? They don't show an interior shot, do they? They don't. There's no interior color uh, so we can see the inside of the Resvani. Well, you know what? Black leather works for me. They've got black leather selected, but what other colors are there? There's black, there's white leather, there's red, there's camel, and then you can do a custom color. Uh, the camel would actually be probably nice. I'm going to take a, a, a wild swing here and say I might want the camel, but here's the deal. I can get the camel and think, uh, I wish I would have got the black leather. I'm never going to get the black leather and think, uh, I probably should have got the camel. So you know what? Let's get the black leather to be on the safe side. Uh, do I want a heated seats? Yes, I do. Do I want headrest embroidery? I don't really care about that. Uh, okay, so seat style. Here's our seat style. Here's one style there. Here's a style there. 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 Hmm, what style do we like? What style do you think I like? I like this style. The Plantini. Platini. Let's do the Platini style seat. Seat stitching. Okay, so we got deviated seat stitching. So we did. We have black seats. We got a green vehicle. Oh, do we want uh, yellow uh, seat stitching? That might look pretty cool, but let's stick with something like silver. Let's do silver seat stitching. Oh, we can change our gauge face color. Now, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. What about a yellow? Mmm, I like that. What about a blue? Mmm, no, I think I like yellow. Kind of reminds me of Ferrari. Let's do yellow. That'll cost us 500 bucks. Uh, let's move on to infotainment. Standard is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto with 7-inch touchscreen. But we can upgrade to a premium that gives us uh, four Audison speakers, whoever that is, and a five-channel amp. Or we can get six focal speakers, JL Audio subwoofer, da-da-da-da-da. Let's go all the way with the ultimate sound system. We're going all the way with this car just in general. Now, cameras. You can get side cameras. Uh, black view cameras, one front-facing camera and one rear-facing camera continues to record the cl to the cloud when parked. Motion sensors automatically start recording. Interesting. That sounds like a lot. Black view cameras, that's a little lot. I'm not even feeling that. Just give me some side cameras right now. Uh, so let's move on there. 
Accessories, waterproof car cover, yes. Trickle charger. I usually like the, the battery tender, but let's go ahead and throw this one on there. Vehicle tracking, oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, so over in the accessories, actually, we didn't actually come all the way down. Vehicle tracking, yeah, I wanted vehicle tracking, but you got to pay for the tracking service. It's $15 a month. They've got this Starry Night headliner. That's kind of cool for $62.50, but you know what? I, we can kind of skip without that. Uh, they got a center console safe. That's cool. They got dual batteries. Uh, that's pretty cool. So actually, you know what? I do want that center console safe. I do think the dual battery thing's cool. Auxiliary gas tank. Second gas tank adds 20 gallons of fuel. That's cool. Oh, there's that EMP pulse protection. There it is right there. $2,500. Okay, now we can get over to the summary. And now we were sitting at $266,000. Now it's actually $280,000. So yeah, I'll download this PDF description below. All right, so yeah, there it is. The Resvani tank, it's pretty awesome. It's going to cost us $266,000 awesome, but it's exactly the vehicle you want. And you know what? If I had the money to spend it, I'd get one of these because I like it. Two thumbs up for that. All right, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this review of the 2020 Resvani tank uh, helpful, informative, or just entertaining, please like share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I'm going to see you on the very next video.